Yo, when you're on the phone with a customer and you're selling a window cleaning job and, and you look at this house on Google, right? You're on the phone with a customer, you look at their house on Google and it's like a million dollar match and you're like, yeah, that's like, it's gonna be like $800 to clean your windows. And the customer goes, $800? Wow, that's really expensive. I was hoping you could do it for $300. Well, at $300, you'd be out of business next month, right? You can you have two choices. You can get all upset and mad and angry and implode and talk about how, why the window cleaning business sucks and why you're never going to be successful or make any money. What is that person doing to live in a million dollar home and you're not? All that shit. And none of those thoughts produce results because I've had those thoughts plenty of times. Or you can just be like, oh, that's not my customer. Next. And just go to the next customer. And if you have to go through five customers that will be one that's going to pay your price, who understands the value, then that's what it takes. But it will forever, and it's a good reminder, just kind of irk me how people can live in million dollar homes and still look for the cheapest price of everything it's almost like the part of my brain that gets angry says it's like this retribution <laughs> it's like oh so basically what you're saying is you're the only person who's allowed to live in a million dollar home and drive a Mercedes and, and go on vacations three times a year, five times a year and have all these nice things but nobody else's everybody else's you know but you know what, dude? People, whoever these people are, some of them, if you read Thomas J. Stanley's book, The Millionaire Next Door, you know, it's something like 80% or 90% of all self-made millionaires in America are self-made. They came from nothing. They did it themselves. By the time you actually get there, I mean, you've probably have worked your ass off so hard and you've taken so many risks and chances and certain things have gone wrong and have gone right and you never gave up. And I'm not saying that it's not a shitload of responsibility. Oh my God, I just had an awakening right now. Everything I'm talking right now are only... The person in the million dollar house doesn't even think like... They don't give a shit. Oh my God. Oh, okay, put, put it this way. You have five businesses and a bunch of real estate. You live in a million dollar home. You're a millionaire. You call up a window cleaner and they're like $550 to clean your house. And you're like, whoa, I thought it was gonna be like 300. That's too much. I get it, right? You get it. You get off the phone and you just call the next window cleaner. And then you call the next window cleaner. And then you call the next window cleaner. And then you call the next window cleaner. And, next cleaner. and you're not even aware that like half of those window cleaners are literally going, I fucking, I fuck, blah, 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 I, I'm a fuck. Like going through all the shit and they're angry just because of what you said. But you're not thinking anything like, I'm the only person in the world who deserves to be successful. You're not thinking any of that. You're just on your fucking, you're just trying to get your windows clean. It's, oh my God, it's all about mindset. I'm like having this epiphany in real time. It's it's the victim mindset that makes you waste time and think victim thoughts, which keeps you fucking broke. So if you just go, oh, well, hey man, I'm trying to fucking get rich like you. So it's gonna be 800 bucks to clean your windows because I want to have a big house like you one day. Yeah? Oh, you don't like what I said? Oh, I don't give a fuck. And you just hang up. You're on the next part. Hello, hi, $1,000 minimum window cleaning. How can I help you? You show up like that. You don't even show up. Yes, I will dispatch my crew. They show up in limousine with the tuxedos. They have this type of accent. Yes, I get in trouble for saying accent now because the world's so fucked up I can't even speak in the accent. I don't even know what accent it is. It's going to be, oh, a thousand? A thousand is too much for you? How about two thousand? Huh? Two thousand. And you should, you know. 